Hey, what's going on, guys? We're able 51 from the truck. Got the OG right here, 865 coming at you. Uh, I'm here in the car line once again. I'm driving old possum cards today. <clears throat> I'm going to holler at you guys, <clears throat> show y'all something cool I just got in. Uh, ramble a little bit. It's been raining for days here in Knoxville. Today it's finally sunny. God, I feel like something in my eyeball. Excuse me, so um, been raining for days. I thought I was gonna have to get a kayak out during my traveling, but it's real, it's real sunny right now and looking a lot better. And uh, we're not gonna be playing baseball tonight, though, at any of the parks around. <clears throat> we don't have any turf games tonight, so we're not lucky enough to have that tonight. So. Yeah, there's some tornadoes touched down somewhere, you know, say within 25 miles here. Uh, a lot of trees turned over. Uh, a lot of flash flooding. I don't think anybody really got their homes ruined or anything. Uh, but yeah, the weather was pretty nasty here the past couple of days. I haven't been able to be outside really. I was working graveyard last night and I kept coming across the radio saying that uh, if you were in portable, offices you had to go to main permanent buildings and all that outside work was to be canceled and uh any loose materials need to be tied down it was like a tour helicane or something uh but anyway i picked this one up the other day i showed you on the shorts morning this is a uh, 1974 99 and a half rail splitter uh, I got this because the Kentucky knife hunter was talking to him about trading. I was looking for one of these and he said he didn't have one. But he said, I did just see one on All About Pocket Knives. Which there's another one on there too. But this one was a better deal and this is like an NOS. This thing's phenomenal. It's in great shape. So shiny as I'll get out. 99 and a half. Uh, and this pin blade is freaking awesome. <clears throat> and the snap on the pin blade is way better than the master blade. Uh, but all in all, I'm extremely thrilled with having this. I've been wanting one of these for a while. It's in that 70s era. Well, they was making some freaking awesome knives there, you know, guys. And I really enjoy those. Yellow Delray, I'm not, I mean, it, it has an old-timey classic feel, but I was really looking for a bone one. Um, measurements on this thing, because this is a, it's a good-sized jackknife right here. I'm going to say this is like the granddaddy of jackknives here. I'm not going to show you guys with them. We're four and a eighth overall. And this big master clip blade is going to be three and a eighth inches long. I'm making that up. That just sounds wrong. Yeah, it's three and a eighth. We've got a cutting edge of two and three quarters. Jackknife here. It does good. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just a, you know, those times what we like. And on this pin blade, we're almost, so we're going to call that three eighths. No, it's not right. Yeah, that is right. Uh, two and three eighths on it cutting edge on this pin blade it's going to be right at two and a quarter so this thing is this thing's a bruiser man this has got a bigger blade on it than a lot of the smaller pocket knives they manufacture I'm digging it I'm digging it I don't have a custom slip for it yet so I've been using this uh, I don't know what they call it what they call this buck brown 
which are Northwoods, leather slip, and that's a good size slip. And my bolster still taking, sticking out the tiniest bit. This is really nice leather, though. Uh, so I'll be in the market to hit somebody up to get me a slip made for my rail splitter. I just can't get enough of this bad boy. Yeah, that's a, a good size knife and it's really sticking out there. It'll be all the way up here. I mean, she's a worker. We're happy with that one. <clears throat> we got the old, old Chupacabra hat on today. I know y'all be liking that one. Uh, only the OGs know about that. If you know, you know. Got the Mannix too. Still carrying that bad boy. We've had it since Monday with us. Uh, we cut some petrified hose with it the other night. It, it's dropped right back, but that's 204P. Oh, I've got all my stuff already laid out here so I can show you guys. Got the Jack Wolf knives. Leather slip. And look at, look at how it's molded to them. You can tell what's in there nowadays. And I pulled this thing out the other day. I'm like, man, I really like that freaking leather. I wish I was carrying a knife in this instead of pliers now. There ain't no going back. So that's the Nipex, extra small water pumps. Come in handy all the time. Use for work, use for home. When I had a eyebrow hair, it was like, I don't know, it wouldn't. It was down here, and I kept seeing it my bitch, and I pulled them suckers out and pulled that thing out with them. Uh, with them. And of course, we got the Lufkin right here. Six footer. I don't think I've ever pulled it out to six foot. Two foot's probably about the limit. Uh, that's about all I really got. I mean, I got this. This is always hanging around in the truck with me. I played with it so much, one of the magnets just come loose in it comes out with the plate every time I pull the plate out. Now, where I just sit down and play it like this, make it go. Make it like that sound. Uh, this is rolling around. That's that silver bullet. A good looking swage on it. The old hawk bill. That bone is phenomenal, isn't it? That bone is just We like it. That was the 23 bullet knife, silver bullet knife, or I don't know. It's got to say, they say it's got a sterling silver uh, inlaid shield there. It says sterling, silver color, I don't know. You tell me. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. I have going. We got a lot of things happening, but I don't know if everybody knows. I got two and a half, two and a half inch OG stickers. Well, we call them the OGs because they're the first ones. We had some of those made. Uh, some people may have these, some people may not. The, the original was three inch, went to a two and a half, and a smoking deal on a bunch of two and a halves. Uh, we got the three inch hollows. See if we can make it change colors. Now, these are three inch. My old, my older ones were two inch. Uh, they're kind of small, so um, I got some three inch hollows now. So these will be going out to people. Uh, I've got a, I got a special one made up. That's uh, it's in production. It's coming. Uh, it may or may not have something to do with the clown and the collaboration. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, when that comes in, we'll uh, I'll bring it out, show everybody. Anybody who's interested can hit me up. Not getting one. Uh, it all just depends on if you play into the old shenanigans we carry on with over here. Uh, I 
I was thinking about the shenanigans. I was thinking about going to Ruby Tuesday for the Rough Rider Double Nail Neck Convention, you know, which is a load of malarkey. You guys know that. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody requesting them double nail necks. I talked to one guy on here one time, and uh, that dude got upset when I was talking. <laughs> I can't remember his name. He got upset. He said he liked them. Commented on the video, said he liked them double nail necks. And, uh, the only thing I could say back was, you eat at Ruby Tuesday, too. And he... He, he was a good sport, man. He he thought it was kind of funny, too. And, uh, we just kind of agreed to disagree, and he's part of the secret population, I guess, you know. It may have been a bot. Who knows? Uh, I'm just kidding out there, buddy, if you're watching this. Uh, all knife content matters. Uh, just because I don't like it don't mean you can't do it, if you know what I mean. Uh I support all my guys uh, and what they and what they do. You know what I mean. I don't agree with everyone, and I you, you guys know what I like. I like these vintage cases, and I like these uh, spider toe knives, and uh, a little bit of finer things. So I like fine leather. You know, other guys they like they like that other stuff. So I mean. Each their own, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. But uh, there's been some of that going around, and I'm not, I'm not taking sides with nobody or anything like that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay in the camp that all, all knives, all knives. I said knives like I'm Pakistani or something. Knives with a B. All knives and knife content matters. You know, all of it is relevant. And uh, we get a hard enough time from. Uh, gotta watch what I'm saying because I don't want to get this taken down. But uh, we get enough slack, flack, whatever you want to call it, from the. Uh, upper echelon in the social medias that are trying to suppress us and keep us quiet and not push our passion that it's it's too much for us to be trying to fight each other when we're trying to deal with that already and um, I think we should all just really support each other Boy, they've got a dog knot of traffic. <laughs> There's buses uh, facing each other and cars trying to go in between them and everything. Now the uh, little bus is pulling up in the driveway. And, oh, man. Anyway, guys, that's about all I got. Everybody wants to see these scissors all the time. These are my trauma scissors. They ride up there with, with a can of pepper spray, a, tur a cat tourniquet, a... Uh, an SC3 knife and a Streamlight Polytech 750 lumen flashlight. That's what rides on the visor right there. Enough to uh, get me out of any kind of trouble for the most part. Uh, I'm pulling forward, you know, that um, that's to get me out of like, uh, that's to handle medical stuff, immediate medical stuff. We also carry an e -fac in the EFAC in the bed of the truck. Uh, we carry a fishing pole back there as well. I got enough stuff in my truck. If somebody was to call me and say, hey, can we get, you want to go camping right now? I could take if, you know, if I was free, I could take off from where I'm sitting right now and go camping. I don't have to stop anywhere. Uh, but. That's about all I got, guys. We're pulling forward. We're going to pick the kids up. Uh, holler at me in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Did you think that rail splitter is pretty dope? I think it's pretty dope. Um, should I keep it in the Northwood slip? Should I have somebody make a slip for me? Uh, let me know what you guys think. The Northwood slip in the past has just kind of floated around, and as I get a new knife and I need a slip, I stick it in there until I get a new slip. 
So maybe I should just keep that as the uh, as the on deck slip for everything, you know. Uh, it's, it's it's nice and it's pretty good size. It can hold a good size knife and uh, it let me get cool stuff and I'll always have a place to put the new ones, you know. I've got some more new knives to show you guys. I don't want to bring it all at once and then, you know, not have uh, anything to talk about. But anyway, I got to go, guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate every one of you that watch, comment, uh, and all that. Uh, holler at me in the comments if you're interested in some stickers. Uh, the, the new collab sticker will be coming out. There's actually two that are on order, but the, the one I'm talking about, it'll be here, I'm hoping in a, a week or so. And, uh, yeah, just get at me, guys. Tomorrow I'm going to hit the mail. I'm going to hit the hit the mailbox and send out some stickers. I got several guys I need to send stickers to. Uh, and anybody, I only do my mail trip once a week. I'm going to the post office. So I've told some of these guys I trade with, like, hey, I go to the post office once a week. Whatever day that lands on for me, you may have to wait a couple days. I'm good for it. I'm going to get it mailed to you, but I only go once a week. I'm not running out there every day. Anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. It's been real, and uh, I'll let your boy. Peace!